Hey everybody, DK back again. This is video two on the Leo lunar eclipse, February 10th, 2017. Happens at 7.30 at night, Eastern Time Zone USA. Adjust for your local listings. I want to talk about the mystic rectangle that's happening at this eclipse. So in the first video I talked about the Grand Trine, and this is even this is an even rarer aspect pattern, the mystic rectangle. So we have um, two planets in op or two sets of planets in opposition. So the sun and the moon, obviously full moon, lunar eclipse. And then we also have Uranus and Jupiter opposite each other. And all four of these planets are connected by what are considered to be positive harmonious angles or mathematical relationships in astrology. You can also see that the degrees that each planet um, is in so so 22 22 for the sun and moon 23 for jupiter and 21 for uranus those degree numbers are very close which means that these are very strong angles that are happening the closer or the smaller the degree difference the stronger the aspect the thinking on the mystic rectangle which again is a pretty rare pattern is that we have these two oppositions and oppositions can be um, they can be positive they can be negative they can be somewhere in between so an opposition can be you and your loved one sitting down across from each other at a candlelit candlelit dinner expressing your love for one another you know, you've got these two opposing worlds that are meeting in the middle and it's beautiful and it's wonderful it can also be you and your former uh, lover former beloved sitting down uh, across from each other discussing the terms of your divorce in you know heated horrible language right or two gunfighters facing off so with an opposition we just have this meeting you know where where these two sides are are facing off and there's going to be reflection there's potential for projection but ultimately what we're trying to do is kind of find the place in the center where we can hold both of those seeming polarities or contraries so the mystic rectangle can really help us do this and of course if you have anything in your chart that's at these degrees or, or within five six degrees of one of these planets then that's this is going to be even more potent for you so um, we're going to look at the planets individually here we got the moon in leo we talked about that in the first video but you know this is stimulating our desire to express ourselves, to um, sort of own our that part of us that inside believes that we're really the king we're the queen that we have dignity that we have value and that we can go out and shine in the world then we have jupiter and libra jupiter in libra is expanding positive collaboration so it's um and this this is an effect from august of 2016 through about august september of 2017 i think through the end of september and uh, jupiter's trying to really help us relate to others in, in a positive way. Libra is a mental sign, so um, Libra relationships are formed in the mind. It's more of almost a framework for the way we view our relationships. And we've got um, Jupiter opposing Uranus over here. So Uranus is in Aries. Uranus, the awakener, the enlightener, in the impulsive, daredevil, risk-taker, action sign of Aries. Aries is trying to define an identity, to find out who it is by going out into the world and kind of blazing a path. And this this signature, so the first Jupiter-Uranus opposition in this series was in late December, and then we have one in March and one in September 2017. And this is a real, it has a real potential for enlightenment, both personally and to an extent collectively. So um, Uranus is saying, hey, you got to be fully who you are. You got to be your authentic self. And I'm going to blast away anything inside of you that's keeping you from that. And that can be painful at times and, and shocking. And then Jupiter is saying, hey, and you know, I'm going to help by expanding, Jupiter's the expander, by expanding that um, authentic self energy, that liberating energy that Uranus is bringing, and also by connecting you with people who can help your expansion, who can you know be these positive relationship partners as you grow into your authentic self. Then we got the Sun in Aquarius, and interestingly, so this eclipse, the USA's natal moon is at 27 degrees Aquarius. So this is definitely going to affect the USA as a country as well. Donald Trump's um, Mars and Ascendant, which are conjunct um, right around the last degree of Leo. So they're in range of this also. Um, you know, we can expect more upheaval. Eclipses always bring change, you know, whether we like it or not. But ultimately, they're trying to move us to where we want to be in life and haven't been able to kind of break through the old stuff in order to get there. So um, there's definitely 
definitely a lot of power in this mystic rectangle to help you and some for some people this is going to be really sudden you know it's like i've always wanted to do this or i've always wanted to live here and boom you know you wake up tomorrow and you're there maybe not literally tomorrow but uh, almost that fast but um you definitely want to look look at these degrees in your chart see what's going on in your natal chart and then recognize that there's this big powerful energy that is um kind of connecting you to the next level for you 